Time for Storm Team 4 now on this Saturday night. A bit warmer out there today, but the clouds did roll in. And now, Alisa, you're saying some snow could be in our future. That's right. We've got a little bit of everything in the forecast over the next couple of days. Some snow, some sleet, some rain. That's all going to be mixed in there as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, especially the closer you are to the lakefront. We're going to kick off tomorrow morning with a mostly cloudy sky. Sunrise headed your way at 722 and it's going to be mainly after sunset that we'll see some scattered snow showers headed our way. That's all going to be due to this area of low pressure, which is now dipped down a little bit farther south and push a little bit farther towards the east over the past three hours. It's bringing a bit of a wintry mix farther towards the south, but farther towards the north. That's where they're seeing the snowfall just to the east of Rapid City there. So let's check it out here on future forecasts. We're going to spend most of the day tomorrow cloudy and dry. You stop it right here right around four o'clock from Green Bay back towards the southwest into Platteville. Still looking at all snow, but no snow yet across southeastern Wisconsin. It's mainly after five o'clock on to about 10 o'clock that we see some light to moderate snowfall making its way through our area and it's going to be a fast mover. So there's not going to be a whole lot of time for some accumulation. We'll get a break on Monday, but we'll be tracking a second system on Tuesday night going into Wednesday. And this one's actually going to be a little bit stronger. We'll first start out with some snow with that one before it changes over to rain. So looking at the potential snowfall totals for tomorrow, you could see less than an inch in Milwaukee. It'll be farther towards the north and west that so you'll see some higher totals like in Green Bay where they could see upwards of three inches. So less than an inch expected for most locations across our area, but farther north one to three inches of snowfall will be possible. Had a lot of questions about what can you expect for the big game tomorrow as the Packers take on the Tennessee Titans right around game time. 28 degrees breezy with the snow still continuing uh, to fall across parts of northern Wisconsin. 37, that's our high for tomorrow and temperatures holding into the 20s during the overnight. A chilly night or a colder night down to 18 by the time we get into Monday night, early Tuesday morning. That second system headed our way late Tuesday night. We'll bring some scattered snow showers that changes over to rain throughout the day on Wednesday and more of a wintry mix behind that as colder temperatures arrive just in time for New Year's Eve.